here's what happens when I'm allowed within six feet of our next guest. Is somebody gonna come out of there? No. That has happened. <laughs> I wanted to uh, talk to her. Ah! <laughs> I took my shoes off for this. <laughs> oh, it's always, always wonderful to have Sarah Paulson with us. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Ellen. Good times. Are those wonderful memories? There's Andy in the background. Hi, Andy. Um, hey, this is an interesting time for you because you're scared of basically everything anyway. Um, yeah, you know, Ellen, I am, uh, you know, I'm a frightened person. I get nervous about a lot of things, right? Yep. Yep. So I'm the gal you want around during the pandemic because I can answer a lot of questions about what to do when you're afraid. And I know how to clean very well. I'm a great cleaner, always have been, because I'm a germaphobe too. So see, I'm ready. Yeah. I actually, I just texted you yesterday, and the reason I texted you about it's called uh, trypophobia. Is that what it's called? Trypophobia, trypophobia. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. Okay. Yeah. The reason I texted you is uh, a friend of mine, uh, both of her children have that same thing. We were talking about it last night and at dinner, and I said, I think that's what Sarah has, where you don't, you're afraid of things with holes. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> holes that are too, too close together, that are, there can't be any Like a like wasp negative... nest or a... Yeah, I don't want a hole and then a negative space and then a hole too close to it. Right, you don't want that. Don't... And it's a real thing because <laughs> both of these kids have it. And Andy is laughing in the background just because we said the word hole. Yeah, because he's a grown-up. <laughs> he's a very mature individual. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's that's, gross. That's who I choose to hang out with. Have you what does it say about Ellen that this is who she chose? I'm trying to talk to Ellen, what? Andy. Okay, yeah. I'm going to stay out of it. Okay, but just can I ask a question? Did you Google this thing and do you understand? If you, there's a test you can take that if you look at these pictures and it doesn't bother you at all, you don't want to gag or pass right out, you probably don't have it but I can't even think about it. Like, I can't think about a natural sponge without um, gagging. Yeah, okay, well, let's not talk about that. Right. I'm, I just was saying I texted you yesterday because both of these, uh, both of her children have it, and I think it's interesting when someone has that, and then both of them do. Anyway, um, let's talk about something that's nice and pleasant. Let's talk about a puppy. I got a puppy. I got a puppy I heard. named Winnie. She's asleep in a little patch of sunlight right now, and she's, adorable uh, look at her look at her she sure is how old is she she's about seven months now i got her when she was six months old so i've had her you know the math on that would be about a month now and when i first got her i rescued yes, her is. from this place called paul works have you ever heard of this place um it's a wonderful organization uh, drove out there an hour away got her brought her home and before I left the guy who Chad who who was the organizer there he said to me you, know, you should really try to socialize her you should try to do a hundred a hundred people in a hundred days and I was like wow now now that's not really possible can't do a hundred people in a hundred days not that no. I want to do a hundred people in a hundred days anyway I don't you know who I mean that just seems really overwhelming but now the problem is when I take her on a walk she's so desperate to be around people and you know, she makes really horrible noises that are just like, <laughs> like that. Is she in pain? No, but I think her, yes, I'm talking. <laughs> I think because she's so desperate, she's like, has a hurt, hurt heart because she wants to engage with these other animals. And the bigger the dog, the better. And she's quite small. Oh, okay. So when she sees other animals, she does when she that. She sees other animals. She's so desperate to see them that she makes okay. that noise. Why don't you get a little friend for her, get another little puppy for her? Seems like too much. That seems like the obvious thing to do. I know, but then I have two dogs. Yeah, but then they take care of each other. But I'm just now getting used to having one. 
Well, then you'll get used to having two. Get get two. Okay. Now let's move on. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about Mrs. America. We're going to talk about how. Uh, and but by the way, before we go to break, Holland is brilliant in Hollywood. I think so. Tell her. Love the love the whole thing. Really, if people haven't seen Hollywood yet, they should watch it. And she was fantastic in it. So Absolutely make sure she. Knows. I'll tell her. All right. Um, take a break. All right, we're going to take a break, and uh, while we're uh, on a break, you can um, you can call Chad and tell him you're going to get another puppy. You got to deliver it. I'm going to do it All right. right now. All I'm right. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!